Hey, so I felt like it was time to make a video because I want to talk to you a little bit about what the fuck is happening right now. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed that a lot of things are shifting at this time. The veil has been lifted. A lot of souls are choosing to make their transition at this time so that they can support us from the other side, otherwise known as the non-physical realm. But it is an intense time and it's bringing up a lot of questions for folks and a lot of fear and a lot of different emotions. There's a lot of resistance coming up inside of all of us and we're wondering what to do with that energy and we're really wondering what this time is truly about. Is it the end of the world? Is it the opening to something amazing? Is it a time for you to be in fear? Is it a time for you to be in bliss? So I'm gonna to talk to you today about that because it felt really, really important. And I could feel that it was time to expand some of the things that were coming in for me and that I really wanted you to know too so that we can be in this thing together and really utilize this time as the time it's meant to be utilized as, which is a divine time, a holy time, a time of becoming more of who we really are. So the veil has been lifted, which means we're seeing things that we weren't able to see before. We're seeing injustices and inequality and aspects of this unfolding that maybe we thought were there, but now it's just so blatant, there's no way to avoid seeing it. So what is this time calling you for? And when I was checking in with my connection with spirit, who I call the JOGs, what they said was, it is time to co-create the new paradigm. It is time to allow the new paradigm, the new reality that wishes to be birthed through you to be birthed. So I wanna invite you to take this time to really go deep in your connection to who you really are and really get clear about what you are meant to co-create during this time. Because we can be in anger, we can be in resistance, we can try to fight what's occurring. And it's not that there's anything wrong with saying this isn't okay, but what happens is that when we're taking action from a place of anger, from a place of rage, from a place of resistance, we actually are matching the lower vibrations of those who are creating or apparently creating this disturbance in our unfolding. And so when we're matching other people at the lower vibrational levels of anger and grief and pain and suffering, then all we're doing is creating more of that energy in the world. So we don't want you taking any action until you've done the work to really be present for those emotions, allow them to discharge from your connective tissue in your body, and then ask, I'm here to create a new reality. What is that new reality that I'm here to co-create in my life unfolding? So what's happening at this time is that the collective is going through what we would call a dark night of the soul. And in a dark night of the soul, everything blows up, it implodes. And it does this to serve what wants to be birthed, the new reality that wants to be created. So if we're trying to keep the current systems in place, if we're, try if we're fighting to keep certain systems in place, if they are not meant to continue on, they won't continue on, no matter how hard we try to make a different reality be present. And that's why it's so important that everything that we do here, we're doing from our deep connection to who we really are. So I'm gonna share a little, with, a little bit with you about my experience, my dark night of the soul, to help illustrate how this works, to help you better understand what's happening at this time. So instead of just being like, oh my God, the sky is falling, crazy things are happening, we want you to understand that yes, crazy things are happening, but those crazy things are happening because they are absolutely what has to happen for the new reality to be birthed. So when I went through my dark night of the soul, my second dark night of the soul, apparently you can have many in one lifetime. When I went through my second dark night of the soul at the end of 2014, beginning of 2015, what that looked like was everything in my life that I had thought was supposed to be there falling apart, literally blowing up my relationship, my work, my book deal, my publisher, like everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Why was that? Because those aspects were not fully aligned with who I truly am. They were created from a misaligned place that I was in. What we're seeing in the current world with everything apparently blowing up 
is because it's blowing up because it's misaligned with source. It's not aligned with the source. It's not aligned with the highest light. And anything that is not aligned with the highest light is blowing the fuck up right now. So what did I do when I went through my dark night of the soul? At first I tried to fight, right? I tried to resist. I said, no, I don't want this to happen. No, I want this relationship to work. No, I worked so hard to get a book publisher. I want this to work. I want this publisher to get their shit together, right? Like I wanted things to be different than they were. And I was trying to hang on to what I did have. And I was fighting and resisting what was occurring because I was like, no, I can't let this go. Even though I knew deep within me, like I have to let this shit go, I have to, but I fought. And so that prolonged my pain and I definitely went through a more painful period the more I tried to hang on to what spirit was showing me very clearly was not in full alignment with who I really am. So in the same way we can see that in the collective, there are those of us that are fighting, that are like, no, we want these same structures to work and we want them to work the way we think they should work, right? And so we're, we're trying to make people that are totally misaligned do what we think the aligned thing is, which is impossible. Um, and that's exhausting, it makes us sick, it makes us not feel good, but we do it anyway, right? It is part of the process of the dark night of the soul. But as you may be noticing, people are getting exhausted, they're getting sick, they're realizing like, wait, I'm throwing all these tantrums, I'm saying no, I'm doing all these things to make this stop, but it's not stopping, it's getting worse, right? It's getting bigger. Why is that happening? It's because this is meant to happen. The implosion is meant to happen allow it to happen. And instead of focusing on the horror of it imploding, right? I could have done that. I could have stayed in the, oh my God, like I've worked so hard and now the book deal is like shit because my publisher turns out they suck. And oh my God, my fiance, terrible disaster. Like, oh, I have to make this person be the way I want them to be. I could have really hung on to that. And I did for a little bit of time. And then I finally was on my knees and I said, you know what? I give. I created this shit show, so I gotta let it go. And that, at that point, that was um, around the first part of February of 2015, I just fell to my knees and I said, I give. I fuck this shit up. If it's all gotta go, it's all gotta go. I was willing at that moment to let go of everything, everything, my work, my life. I was like, hey, if I'm not meant to continue in this lifetime, fine. I let go of everything. And that is the point we're being brought to now, right? It's, we can see clearly we're in a dark night. We can see that fighting and resisting from that angry place, from that grief place, from that, no, I need to make something be something different than it can possibly be because it's not aligned with source. So it's never going to be able to be aligned. It's never going to feel right. We finally get to the point where we say, okay, I get it. This is meant to happen. And we are on our knees and we say, I surrender and I'm willing to let go of everything. I'm willing to let go of everything that is not in full alignment with who I really am. I was like, I may not do healing work again. I may not, like I was just completely willing to let it all go. And when I did that, something miraculous happened. I became liberated. I became who I have always wanted to be and didn't even know that's who I wanted to be. What happened was that my abundance, my alignment, the love in my life, the spaciousness, the peace in my life, I didn't have peace in my life. I didn't even know peace was a priority <laughs> until it got so bad and it blew up so hard that I was like, oh my God, this insanity is not worth it. Perhaps you're there now too. Perhaps you're realizing that it's not worth it. It's not worth it to have misaligned structures in place, whether it's a government, an organization, a relationship, a habit pattern, a thought form, it's just not fucking worth it. You came here for bliss, you came here for peace and for love and for abundance. And anything less than that is going to feel like shit to you. And so you have to let it go. Please, let it go, let it go. Surrender, let the liberation come to you. Let who you really are flow through you. But the only way for that to happen is for you to drop your resistance. And the only way to drop your resistance is to be present with it. And to be present with that pain within you that all that pain wants is your love. It's all it wants. It wants, it wants your love and your attention. So during this time in consciousness, it is a dark night of the soul. But on the other side of the dark night of the soul is the new reality 
I have spent the last two years living in peace and love and abundance at a level that I did not know was possible, at a level that I had not seen anyone else living in ever in my life. I experience such magic every single day because I allow myself to be present to my resistance, to my anger, to my grief, to my pain, to my suffering, to my fear. Fear is a big one for me. I let myself be present to that and then I let the liberation come because what flows through me after I'm present to that is spirit, is who I really am. And who I really am is magnificent. Who I really am is more than any government, any man, any religion, any organization, any amount of money. Who I really am is unlimited. And it is the same, it is the same for you because we're in this together, do you see? Do you see, can you feel this? We can put up all of our stories of separation, even against those who are in a consciousness that we don't agree with, right? So we're really seeing the veil is being lifted on the 3D consciousness, which is the very physical, like what I see is all there is consciousness, right? And there was talk in times past of evolving into the fourth dimension. We're beyond that people, we're in the fifth dimension, right? And what I was shown during the solstice of 2016, the winter solstice, was that there's a separation occurring where the fifth dimension and the third dimension can no longer coexist. We've been coexisting since 2014. There's always been some people that were existing in 5D consciousness before that. In 2014, more of us came online to the 5D consciousness, which is a spiritual consciousness, which is living as love, as peace, as contentment, as abundance, as our natural state. And now we're at a time where it's not gonna work for the physical only consciousness and the spiritual consciousness trying to work together, right? We're seeing it, it just, it's not working. So what does that mean? We don't really know how it will play out because it's up to you. It's up to me to show up every day in full alignment with who we really are and only take actions from that placement. And when we do, the new reality can be birthed through us. It can be created through us. Your question to be asking is not what is wrong, what's the next nightmare to occur, because when you ask that question, it will always be answered. And a lot of you have been asking that question and it's been being answered, but you can ask a better question. You can ask, how can I co-create a new reality? How can I allow myself to live in a spiritual consciousness and what is being referred to as the fifth dimension? You can do this. It's, it's why you came. It's why you and I are here right now. Like specifically, we were like, dude, we have to be here for 2017 because that's when the shit goes down. The veil gets lifted. We get to see what politics is really about. We get to see what's really been happening. We get to see the underbelly of humanity. And then we get to say, no, I will not be a part of that. And instead of shouting no at it and trying to change it, we say, I'm gonna birth a new reality, a reality where we honor Mother Earth, where renewable resources is a bigger industry than oil ever thought it could be. But what does that require? That requires you to change your lifestyle. That requires you to stop having your house heated by oil. That requires you to get a car that does not run 100% on oil. That requires you to pick up litter everywhere you see it. That requires you to purchase products that are environmentally friendly requires you to stop wasting. It requires you to compost. It requires you to eat healthy foods. It requires you to change what you purchase and put into your body and put around you. You want equality for all people? You say you want equality for all people, right? You have to start by making amends with everyone in your life that you have hated on and judged and pushed away and who there is discord with. You have to make peace with yourself. You gotta find equality for you and then ask to be shown the organizations, the ways that you can connect more so that you can support true equality for all peoples because guess what? That's just a big fat duh, right? You're in a body, you're here, we're all in this together. And judgment is just a manifestation of the separation wound. And that wound will kill you. It's killed lots and lots of people. It's killed you in other lifetimes. It's killed me in other lifetimes. How about we just, we stop doing that as a thought? You want a different education system. You want to see education valued. You got to get out there into your schools and into your public libraries. You got to put your money where your talking is, right? We got to stop talking about what's wrong and we have to take 
actions to allow the new reality to be born through us. This is no one else's problem. This is your problem. This is my problem. This is what we came to bring a solution to, but we don't bring the solution to not bring the solution by pointing fingers and being snarky and sarcastic and judgmental and mean, right? People are just being mean. It's not what we came to do. That's not gonna allow you, that's not creating positive karma for you, right? So you gotta think about every single action you take, every word that comes out of your mouth. Is it of peace? Is it of love? Is it of abundance? If it's not, keep it inside. <laughs> and then go sit in meditation and work that shit out. Dissolve it. Let it go. So I wanna invite you to create a new paradigm, create a new paradigm with me, create a new paradigm with all of those who are unwilling to be participants in the collective nightmare and who wish to see this dark night of the soul exactly for what it is. It's a spiritual experience. It's a calling. It's a call to be who you really are. No more talking about being who we really are, but actually being who we really are. I've been in this experience for the past two years. It will challenge you, it'll bring you to your knees, and it will open your heart so much that you will scream in ecstasy every day at the magic that takes place. There's lights going off all around the camera here. You will be in so much joy and so much love with yourself, with all that is, with Mother Earth, with each other. You will live a life that is extraordinary, but you have to choose it. Please choose it. If you feel a soul resonance with anything that I've shared, please feel free to private message me and I would love to share with you some of the ways that we may be able to work together. My work in the world is to support those called in living in higher states of consciousness while in this physical body, while on this physical plane, which is actually a spiritual plane. This is actually a spiritual experience that we're all having. And I'm here to support those as, I, as I've supported myself, as I continue to do this with my mentors supporting me, my higher wisdom supporting me. I support others and also living at an elevated level of consciousness so that we no longer have to live in a nightmare ever, but that we can actually see the truth of what is occurring in every moment. So if you feel the resonance, reach out to me. If you feel resistance to anything I've shared here, that means there's some work for you to do. Go into that resistance. Be present for it. You don't have to believe everything I say. You don't have to agree with it. But you do need to be present for what's happening within you. Be emotionally available to yourself. And watch as your whole life changes as you begin to lean in to who you really are. So much love to you. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Like, wow. I can't wait to see what happens next, and I'll be here with you every step of the way, divine will willing. Much love and many blessings to you. Mwah.